How's it going, guys? It's Bochy Sud. Welcome back to another episode of the Sunset Invasion. Let's do this. We're just waiting still. Not really a lot to be hyped about. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna keep going. And uh, Merchant Guild loses. Uh, do we, what do we want? Admin, admin probably? Yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, this is gonna make him disloyal, though. No, it didn't, actually. Close, but it didn't. Uh, our missionaries are working away. Our missionary is working away, which is really nice. That's very nice of him. Yeah. Okay. Continue accept uh, accepting. Yeah, continue converting everything. I just I wish I wish we could see the Europeans. What are they doing? What are they doing right now? Technically, we could cheat and do it from the save screen, but I'm not going to do that. It's lame. And also, what is your problem, Mr. F oh, 50%. There we go. Alright, now it's going to continue again. It's kind of annoying. Alright, so we're just going to wait. I'm just going to sit back and, uh, and watch, the, watch the map. Um, it's going to be very static for a while. Till we get some new colonies going, get these uh, Brado done. Hmm. We do have more force limit, I would assume. And since we're at the maximum manpower, it makes a lot of sense to build up more. Uh, what is our force limit again? 27? Yeah. Let's go up to 25 right now. Our money actually went up. I don't know why. You know what, I probably could have just gotten away with not building all that, because we are going to get five from Quiche when we finish annexing them. So, that is something to keep in mind in the future. Normally I'm pretty good about that, you know, I'm pretty good at deciding, uh, remembering, you know, oh, we're going to get some free units from annexing this vassal anyways. So it's free manpower, you know. But sometimes I don't remember. Fifty-one point five percent. So yeah, we're colonizing this little place down here. Might as well. We go to Honduras. You know, all these other places. This is Panama down here. So we're going into the Panama node now, and we are in the Rio Grande node, which is good. I mean, we're not earning a lot of money, but. Mmm, lose Doom. I don't really care about Doom. Let's just do that. Merchant Guilds are our most disloyal faction, so keep them in check. <sighs> so it's interesting. Right now, where we are now, this is the, the border of uh, Texas right here, and it goes up through here, and then down uh, along here. And over here, and then it's Arizona, or uh, New Mexico and Arizona, and then and then Cali California is over here. Uh, actually, New Mexico is probably right in here. Texas goes up to right about here. I'm just trying to guess, really. No really way for me to see, but, you know, whatever. I wish Speed 5 went a little faster, but my part of it is actually that my PC is just a little bit slow, which is kind of funny that that's what it comes down to. Uh, we are at only 50 power projection, so we're going to lose out on that bonus soon. That's okay. It's okay. I never wanted you anyways. We'll do that. Why not? We're going to need to eventually. Uh, yeah, this is good. You want a royal marriage. Why didn't you want one before? Oh, because you were disloyal. That's right. I mean, sure, why not? It doesn't doesn't really matter, I guess. Speaking of that, when does our heir, our, our really good heir, when does he become... Yeah, so he's still like five, five more years, basically. It's good. It's good. I like it. Okay. Come on, Europeans. Come on. What you doing? So, all we need is just a western neighbor with an adjacent core. Or a total of 18 technology. Uh... So I don't think we're going to get there. That's six more tech. I don't really want to spend that much, honestly. Uh, 
I don't think we need to either to really get the reform. Because that's just spending more Monarch Points that we could be saving for Westernization, you know? But, you know, we'll see what happens. Ah, uh, that's fine. We're doomed, I don't really care. I just wish this would, this would go faster. I wish the colonization would go faster. I wish there were more stuffs, stuffs happening. Yeah, stuffs. More stuffs happening. We are almost done annexing Kishe. And then we will have destroyed all of the other competitors except for Zhu. Anyways, let's go look at some of the unrest. That's something we could look at, uh, in fact. is uh, Let's be, yeah, let's, uh, hey, there we go. We got him. We got that. We also are three above our force limit, so let's delete three, unfortunately. Yeah, let's delete you guys. Sorry. Uh, what is our force limit, I wonder? Let's look. Our supply limit. Gosh darn, I always say force limit. It's not actually enough. Alright, let's just do that. Split up the army. Why not? Moves you from the map, turn shortly into a city. Uh, we'll do this. Why not? Like, you know, why not? Estates demand control of territory. So that these dudes want some land. The Tlamasque. Alright, let's give them Belize because it is one of our newer, pro uh, newer conquered ones. So it's going to be a little bit more... Uh, hard to keep under control. Well, actually, we should look. Which ones have we not converted yet? This one we have not converted, so definitely we'll give this one. Because it does help with conversion, of course. There we go. That disappeared. Let's go look at autonomy and stuff. So what has the least unrest? Oh, wow. Look at that. Look at all those provinces with low unrest. So we could even start lowering autonomy. The reason I'm not going to do this, actually is because when we start westernizing, which will hopefully be uh, be soon, well, it'll hopefully be soon, but um, but regardless, when we westernize, it's going to give us a lot of unrest and stuff, so I don't, I really don't want to do that. I don't want to push it, you know? Either way. Yeah, that's my reasoning there. We'll be able to see the colors of their their colonies when whenever the Europeans start, so just wait in. And why don't we? I mean, you know, we're not using the army. Let's just put down in maintenance. And there you go. We can do co two colonies and still be making a good chunk of change. It's pretty sweet. Cause yeah, that's the thing. When the Europeans come, we're gonna have to just use numbers on them for the beginning at least, I think, cause we're gonna have a little bit of a tech disadvantage. However, once we do westernize, our leader is going to be really good, assuming it's the same dude. And the Aztecs, I know, just have a kind of a, a luck modifier or something that gives them, gives you above average leaders anyways, to just kind of give you a little bit of an edge. I just wish we could see something. Come on, anything. Hmm. Like, let's, let me, let me see something. I, I don't think we know any other people, so, because I believe you can check. Let's go to, like, oh, hey, there's Scotland again. Oh, Scotland might be uh, coming to colonize us soon, eh? Scotland does like to colonize the Caribbean for some reason. Yeah, so we only know of one other person in the whole world. I would love for Scotland to come and colonize right next to us. That'd be great. We could beat up Scotland easily. Uh, well, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Assuming that they're as powerful as normally Scotland is. I'm surprised they're even alive at this point. Unless they maybe got the help of, you know, they could have gotten the help of France or something. It's always a possibility. Enforce serfdom. Yeah, let's enforce serfdom over these, uh, these Native Americans. Mesoamerican natives. Sounds good. Serfdom is the way to go, right? We know what that is. Totally do. Look at that name, though. Aztec. The Aztec Empire. Let's look a little bit more at our ideas, our national ideas. So we got flower wars, cost of reducing war exhaustion. That's, that's okay. It's that's actually pretty bad. Um, yearly legitimacy. That's a fine. Manpower recovery speed. That's pretty good. Um, that's morale. What is the bonus though? Ten percent. Ten percent. That's pretty good. Uh, ten percent tax is good. Production efficiency is good. These I like these. These are all just flat bonuses that are always good. I would pick those in any ID group any day. 
uh, and they're all just there right by themselves. We already have idea cost minus 10%, infantry combat ability 10%, those are both really good. Uh, spy network construction, eh, I mean, it's fine. And national manpower uh, modifier plus 25%, that's really good. That's like, uh, that's, that's really good. I, that's ve very nice. Okay. Borado is at 703 and increasing, but really, you know, we're just waiting. Let's start looking at where we want to develop. We don't want to do it yet, but uh, cost to develop is going to be 75 uh, in Chiclanco, and that's a, it's Coco. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Um, which is, Coco is a, is a fairly expensive thing, if I remember correctly. It would make sense. It's low autonomy. Not zero, but fairly low. Excuse me. I need to reposition myself in my seat and get a little more comfortable. I mean, you know, just, just kind of waiting right now. Uh, trader, sure. Our truce is going to end in like eight years, is it? Five years, not that long, okay. It's been a, quite a while though, just sitting here. We might want to do another advisor or something, we'll see. I mean, again, we're just, we're just waiting. We don't really have much to do. Guatemala, let's do it. Yeah, a little bit more unrest, it's, it's fine. Okay. Um, let's start looking at cultures again. Okay. So we have this culture group here. This one up here, which is ours, and this one in the middle. That is not the same one as down here. I don't know why they're such like similar colors. It's confusing. It's a Piemon, which is even different, but is also similar in color. I don't know. This is Kadoan. And there's Nad Nadene Navajo. Okay. I mean, I, it would be so nice if we could just even see the, the, the Pueblo or the Navajo or whoever. Maybe be able to clear warn them. Ooh, excuse me. Okay. 40% on that missionary in Guatemala. Not too long. We'll see what buildings we can do. Yeah, we did gain one force limit, okay. Nothing really. We might do a little bit of culture conversion, actually. I think that might be an interesting, uh, an interesting concept. Try to make someone the uh, an accepted culture, and I think that culture would have to be the Yucatec. Excuse me. The Yucatec is a pretty big one already that has some of our highest development promises out of the ones we've conquered recently, uh, like nines and sevens and nines. You know, a, a good chunk of land, and that's all Yucatec. Uh, I think it already makes up a good chunk of our population. Yucatec. Yeah, 70%. It just has to get to 20. Hey, there we go. We got a really good leader. Hey, and our heir is, you know, he's decent. He's only two less than our uh, current leader. That's pretty good. Uh, we will do that. Why not? So I think, yeah, so I think we want to start converting. What we want to do is we want to convert all the cultures of that group to to Yucatec and then all the ones up here we can do to Aztec like all these up here we can do to Aztec um, in that way it's a little bit uh, more we're a little more efficient you know because uh, it costs less to do that so like for instance here and here it is separatism ah jeez how long does separatism last for we'll see let's see let's check 
1.5, not too long. Oh, hey, we reached a uh, max admin. What can we do? All right, let's start. I mean, let's start doing it. Why not? There we go. Good chunk of a uh, good chunk gone. Again, I just want to keep it down low enough, you know. There's only so much we can do, and then eventually we may have to tech up. Okay. That's fine. Oh, jeez. What is that? The French. They're not at war with you, right? No, they're exploring. That's a French explorer. They've come to explore now. They they uh, were exploring the ocean. Now they're going to come and explore the land. They dropped off their explorer. Interesting. Interesting. We had something happen. <laughs> okay. That's, uh, I was not expecting that necessarily. It's kind of dumb that you can't meet them just because of the fact that even though they're walking through your land, it's like, no, you can't, you haven't met them yet just because they don't have a province near you, you know. It's, it's kind of lame. Hmm. So we're definitely going to do this one next. I mean, look at that. We're making so much money just with, with you know, one colony over our limit, even. Hey, there we go. We got lucky on that roll. This is not a state here. Do we want to make it a state? That's a good question. Let's go look at states and territories. So this stuff is all part of the states, the stuff that we can make states. This is all stuff we can make states. This is a territory. Hmm. I don't know, man. Why don't we... Let's, let's look at this. I mean, the development is just so low. That's the thing. Would it even be worth it? What is our states right now? We only have 15 max. And this is, I think we're not going to do it, just because it would be much better for us to do the, the Caribbean and other places, you know? We could find much, much better states. Um, I think we might want to pick and choose a little more after this this uh, after this point. Yeah, I, th I think that's honestly what we're going to do. Just to make sure that we get the best bang for our buck. Otherwise, I don't even think we'll break even with that, really. I, I mean, nah, we would break even, I think. I think it's... It's close enough that that's true. Ah, oh, jeez, gosh, now our name is messed up. Come on. I'll just be straight across the middle. Aztec. Okay. I like how it's not like the Aztec Empire or the Aztecs. It's that, it's just Aztec. I don't actually care. I just kind of find it funny. I, like, there's really nothing to do. I don't know if you're not supposed to be finished this early or what, but, you know, we're where we were. Yeah, our power projection has been down for a while, obviously, but... Can't convert you, can't convert you. We can convert you. Can we convert you to Zapotec? Not Zapotec, we want Yucatec. Remember that. So it can only be neighboring ones, I believe, right? And it's cheaper when it's neighboring. So we want to do all the Putun and the Mayan. This is Aztec down here? Why is this Aztec down here? Oh, because we are colonizing it, obviously. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay, separatism. Ah, we, just, we weren't able to last. Okay, well, maybe we'll promote mercantilism again. I don't really think that's worth it, though. 
Let's just develop a little bit more. Yeah, why not? Do one into Coco. 10 power a month. Wow. Didn't realize that was uh, how much we were gaining. Six months will take us, or ish, will take us. Ah, yeah, yeah, we should be good. If it's at the end of the year and not in just some other random month, then we should be able to convert this. Oh, we reached. Oh, crap. I looked down at my phone for a second. We reached max admin now. And we're about to reach. Ah! Ah! I don't know if this is the most efficient way to do it. I hope it is. It's only a 10% discount. I don't... Eh, we have a thousand in each of them. Do we want to tech up again? Let's, we'll think about it. Let's think about it. I think the unrest, uh, not the unrest, the separatism is gone now. Now, oh wait, it is, I think. We're getting the money, as ridiculous as it sounds. So yeah, we can do this now. Alright, so this is the, the good thing. So it costs a lot less based on the fact that it's in the same culture group. Uh, so we can, like, convert that, and then convert it and, and spread it down through here. Hey, we can actually do this one. We can actually convert this one to Yucatec. I didn't realize that. We can't do this one, though. Alright, so that's something to keep in mind. We can do that with Diplo. I don't know, though. What do we get in the next level? Oh, we do get this, the barracks. So we could just start putting a bunch of money that. I mean, that's like that's that's fine. I think. I think. I think this would be a fine tech level to get. Fourteen sixty five, fourteen fifty eight, fourteen eighty three. Uh, so we'd have about you know. We have about. One thousand in each category. How much do we need to westernize? Each month, plus. Increase their stability that we learn slowly. Yeah, seven from each category. We're actually generating more than seven in each category. So, you know what? I think we would be fine for that. Our, our leader is so good. That's, that's one of the reasons I think it's okay. I don't want to do this until we have, you know, 10% bonus, though. Might as well milk it for all we got. For all we can. Uh, either way, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and end this video. So thank you guys for watching. We'll come back next time, and I'll uh, maybe I'll look it up, like see what other people think about, you know, teching or waiting. Uh, so thank you guys for, for watching. Go leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.